Dragon family. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the Enchanted Rose from Beauty and the Beast. Now, it's not exactly the same because in Beauty and the Beast, the dome that is around the rose is um, rounded out. But at Dollar Tree, you cannot find anything like that to create the rose. If you don't know, I'm a huge geek and I knew that once I made the rose that it was going to come in this corner because also the stuff that you see behind me, I made myself beside like the Funko Pops and the figurines themselves. But like all these little things like that I made myself. So I definitely knew that it was going to come over here. So I have them behind me right now so that you could see it. It's not going to stay there, but I just knew that it was going to look perfect in this area. It's a really inexpensive way to create the Enchanted Rose and it's so pretty. Before I begin this tutorial, I uploaded a tutorial a few months back and it was Disney Princess Makeup Brush Holders and I'm really close to getting 500 likes on that video. And I said in that video if I could get to 500 likes, I would create another set of Disney Princesses. So if you haven't given it a thumbs up make sure you do because I haven't done Belle so definitely the next series will involve Belle. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video now let's begin. What you're gonna need for this DIY is a glass face. The best glass face that Dollar Tree carries is this one right here is just a regular cylinder vase. Now Dollar Tree stickers can be hard to peel off of the glass sometimes it leaves residue so in one of my videos I had people telling me to use rubbing alcohol so I went ahead and used some rubbing alcohol to get rid of the residue and it really did help so thanks guys other items you'll need is a woven trivet the internet says that's how you pronounce it I'm not a hundred percent positive and then if you want to make the trivet look wooden you can get this wood adhesive you're gonna find this near the kitchenware and then you're also gonna need obviously a rose the roses from Dollar Tree have baby's breath below them. That's the name of the flower, the white flower you see. So you have to remove the leaves from the bottom to remove the baby's breath because you don't want that for this DIY. And once you got the baby's breath removed, you can then put one of the stems of leaves back on the stem of the flower. You want to make sure your rose only has two leaves, so cut off any excess leaves. As you can see, the rose is a little too big for the vase, so you're going to have to cut some of the petals off of the rose, but that's okay because you're going to need a few to go on the bottom of the vase. You'll also have to trim the stem of the rose because it's too long to fit properly inside of the vase. The enchanted rose stem has a stirred and a curve to it, so all you have to do is take your stem and just bend it around to look like the curve of the enchanted rose. Now take your trivet and cut into it so you've got the perfect size for the base of the vase. You don't want to leave the trivet as is because it will be too big. Next step is optional. You can leave the trivet as is, but I really wanted that wooden appearance. I take this wood adhesive that's used in cabinets and shelves, and I cut it to fit the trivet. I cut a circle to go on the top of the trivet and a thin strip to go around. I wasn't originally planning on doing this till I found the wood adhesive later on after I had bought the trivet. So if you want, you could buy a circular coaster at Dollar Tree or one of the small mirrors that are in the crafting aisle. There's different things you can use for the base because in the actual movie, there's no base to the dome. The adhesive is really easy to use. Just cut it out, peel the backing, and stick to whatever surface you like. It sticks really nicely to the trivet, but if you're having a problem with it sticking, just use some glue. Now take the petals that you cut off of the rose and trim them to be smaller to fit below the vase. Now they're going to fit into the vase no matter what, but because the petals are too big, it's just going to make the entire bottom of the vase and the base look red. So you want to trim it so that you can see some of the wood. Now take your rose and glue it to the center of the base. I'm using a hot glue gun just because it dries quickly and it does a really good job of getting the rose to stand straight. And that is how you make the Enchanted Rose using Dollar Tree products. Now to make it extra magical, you can buy these LED string lights at Dollar Tree. You want to look for a clear string. They have green string mainly, but the green string looks a little bit funny at the bottom of this. And you just go ahead, put that on the bottom of the vase, and it makes it look really magical with the way it lights up the vase. I also used another string light. It is fairy string lights I got from Target. They're only $3, so super inexpensive. And the cool thing about the wire string lights is that they stand up straight so they go all the way to the top of the rose and just at the bottom of the vase. So that's it for this Enchanted Rose DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's super inexpensive, super 
cute and I'm just really happy that I made this because now I have it to go inside of my geeky corner so thank you again for watching make sure you check out my Disney makeup brush holder tutorial that I was talking about and I will see you guys next time take care bye